about seven people have been shot dead, while three are nursing gunshot wounds following a spate of bandit attacks over the last 48 hours in several spots within Tiati constituency in Baringo County. Some residents have been forced to flee IDP camps they had settled in due to the volatile security situation headed for the neighboring Laikipia County. All this happens amid a forceful disarmament operation launched against residents of the bandage-prone area. Hassan Mugambi reports. In droves and with their bags packed, residents of Sinoni area of Baringo County are walking away from Sinoni Primary School that has acted as a safe haven for months since the breakout of rampant attacks by bandits in the area. They first sought refuge at the institution that has since proved to be unsafe. <laughs> Friday, four people were shot dead in a bandit attack that left three people injured and an unknown number of goats stolen. Though the animals make them a high-value bandit target, men flocked goats left in their possession as women carried their children on the journey to nowhere. Safety, their only quest, that putting as much distance between them and Sinoni as possible. Serikali ku hawa usiki na hivi vitu. Sijui wanataka watu wakupe wangapi. Leo tumepoteza jana tulipoteza waine, juzi tulipoteza mmoja, siku ile nyingine tulipoteza wawili. A section of residents in the area demonstrating. They protest against what they term national government inaction in the troubles they face. Area County Commissioner Abdirazak Jaldesa assuring them that deployment will be done to safeguard their neighborhood. So, Pali, when I target Sana Sana, me area Casiela, Sinoni Pali, Pali, to River Site. Waivo, yet to tune to Angalia to fine tune. Sinoni Primary School is one of the examination centers in the area. Now KCPE candidates are a worried lot despite assurances from the security chief. We are doing whatever is possible to ensure that our candidates do uh, KCPE without any, any interference from these drugs. A humanitarian crisis is building up with residents short of basic necessities. Two of three of the people who sustained gunshot wounds are being treated at the Nyahururu County Referral Hospital. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.